Flames and smoke destroyed a Southwest Houston restaurant, one some say was more than just a place to eat. And now fire investigators wonder if someone may have meant to destroy the building. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Arai has new information about the fire. It didn't take long for the curtain to close on 32 years of dinner theater history. They went in, they made a fast attack, tried to knock it down. It was too much fire for them. They backed out and uh, it went to a third alarm. The Great Caruso restaurant has been providing quality dining and entertainment for decades. The source of this morning's fire still unclear. The building was empty, which clearly raises more than a few red flags for HFD's arson unit. When you look at electricity, time of day, buildings occupied, those are all things that they look at. By day, the immense damage was easy to see, and as heavy machinery began to tear down the leftovers, people began to realize Caruso's was more than just a place to eat. People who, who know Houston and know that it's been around for a long time, it's, uh, it's going to be a loss. Caruso's was the anchor in this long-standing strip center. Nearby, Santos Mexican Restaurant was one of several others damaged by water and smoke. It's been open for only 18 months. We're very blessed. Uh, to come out of this deal the way we came out of it versus how the other people came out. I mean, Crusoe's been in business 32 years and everything he's got's gone. Arson crews are still searching for a cause. They have a number of possibilities to rule out before they can make any determination. Caruso's management declined an on-camera interview with us, but other business owners here say they've heard Caruso's will in fact rebuild. In Southwest Houston, Mark and I-13, Eyewitness News. And that was not the only restaurant fire on Westheimer overnight. Firefighters say someone may have set the fire at this vacant restaurant. The fire started just before 1 o'clock this morning on Westheimer at Old Farm Road. The building has no utilities and has been shut down for about a year. No one was hurt.